There are some things you cannot prevent, but today we're going to talk about early detection for those things that you can't prevent. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So, there are some things like we talk about that you cannot prevent. So, for those things that come about that you can't prevent, well, there's where the pound of cure comes in. But here's what can help you with that pound of cure. The quicker you get that cure in there, the better your odds are of dealing with that problem. It's early detection. Now, there's some things you can look at for early detection. One of the big ones is mortality, and I'm not even really gonna consider that one because mortality shows you already got a problem. So if you have high mortality, then you know there's a problem. But what are some things you can look at before that mortality kicks in? Number one, look at the poop. We've done a whole series way back on the scoop on poop because you can tell a lot about a bird what's going on by looking at their poop. And that's not, not just chickens. I mean, shoot, I took my dog to the uh, vet the other day. They want, a, they want a fecal sample to see what's going on, make sure it's healthy. So poop is one of the main things you can tell. So if they got a firm manure, do you see that white cap on that litter? You know they're digesting good. But there's so many things that affect that digestion with disease and viruses and stresses that go on that will actually affect the digestion of that bird. So if you can look at the poop and go, hey, it's runny, it's bloody, there's some things going on. Early detection, let's deal with it. Second thing, water consumption. If you see the water consumption start to come off, you need to start thinking, hmm, what's going on? Is it just because they're hot, they don't want to get up and around? I mean, we're probably going to do a video about, uh, before too long about where your bird should be at a certain day. There's a lot of water consumption charts out there. So sometimes we need a little reference because we go off what we've seen last flock and we may have had an issue. But water consumption is something you can look at and go, you know what? The birds did not increase. They've been increasing every week and now they've leveled off or maybe gone down. Early detection. Is there something going on? Is it something minor or is this something to pay attention to? The next thing, feed conversion. Now, some of us don't even mess with feed conversion until we get our sheet back from the integrator. We go, okay, well, we got a 1.75, okay? But some of you do check your average daily gain, just like your water consumption. There is a, there is a chart, there is some breakdown of where your bird should be uh, as far as feed conversion. So, they're taking in feed, where are they on the weight? What is the average daily weight gain? That's a big thing that if you're not measuring, you ought to take a look at. Average daily gain. So those are three things. Poop, your water consumption, your feed conversion. Behavior, are your birds acting normal? I mean, are they sitting down, are they moving slow? Are they getting up? When you go through the, the house and you're walking your birds for mortality, are they getting up and moving like they normally do? Are they energetic? Um, you know, are they kind of sitting down and you can't really see anything particularly, but you see they're sitting down, sitting back on their legs, early detection. Is there something going on? If you wait till it breaks, then you're already behind the eight ball. So early detection, check out the behavior. Sounds. What do your birds sound like? This is interesting because I get this from a lot of you female growers. You're more attentive to those birds. I had a, uh, a lady grower over in Alabama who told me how when she comes down to the house in the morning, she can hear them talking and she knows what's going on with them. Now that may sound silly to you, but the fact is there are some certain things that I've heard many growers talk about. When you hear them, you walk in and you start hearing certain noises. You know the noise I'm talking about. Maybe they're panting a good bit, or maybe they're you know wheezing. I know turkey, turkey people talk a lot about wheezing and there's some things going on, so now you know there may be some, uh, some bronch bronchial type stuff, but paying attention, listening to sounds, what's going on in the whole house. The age of the hen where your chicks came from. Now, I learned this lesson a long time ago. Grower sat me down and explained how you get chicks from a young hen, they'll perform pretty good, but their mortality is going to be high. Get an older hen, mortality is going to be low, but they're not going to perform. So that middle-aged hen is a nice place to be. Now, 
we're going to do a video here pretty soon about a new ruling that has come out where you have to be informed on the age of the hen of the chicks you've got. So I want a little tight entice you there on that. That's going to be a good one, I believe. But there's some things you can know. Okay, if you have a high mortality on the first couple of weeks and you're like, we got a disease going on. Oh, you know what? I got a young hen. These chicks come from a young hen. So maybe this is just that. Paying attention, I don't know. But you know that if you've got a, uh, an older hen and maybe the mortality is already kicking right now and you're like, this is not normal when I get an older hen. So maybe there's something going on. So, you know, consider the age of the hen, of the chicks that you're getting. Those are some things. The last one is probably this right here. Everything else looks good. And then the next day you get blindsided. Well, you've done, maybe you've done all those other things. Everything looks good. And then all of a sudden, boom, the next day, the bottom falls out. Well, if you can keep your ear uh, open to what are other growers experiencing, maybe who got from your same week, or maybe what's going on in the complex. Now, sometimes the service tech will give you a little heads up. Mm, sometimes they don't think about it. I mean, I guess, I don't know. But the fact is, maybe you need to be finding out, hey, just keeping your finger on the pulse. What are other growers going through right now? And that can help you get prepared for what might be coming to you. So there's some things. Look at their poop. What's the manure look like? Is the water consumption where it should be? Feed conversion. What behavior differences are there? Uh, do they sound different? Is there anything kind of weird? What's the age of the hen where your chicks came from? And then what are other growers experiencing? Look, we said it, some things you can't prevent. But if you can detect these things early, you've got a better chance to get through them. So, we always say on this channel, the best thing you can put on your farm is your shadow. So, I encourage you, get that five gallon bucket out, sit down, and pay attention. So, got any questions on this? Give me a holler, 1-800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. Until next time.